Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to part 19 of our Build Deploy Test with Jenkins 2.0 for Java and C Sharp. And in this video, we'll be talking about Blue Ocean UI UX improvement for Jenkins 2.0. And this is completely uh, a topic where it is nothing to do with Jenkins learning itself, but this is really a future of Jenkins 2.0 where the Jenkins will slowly transform its complete UI, the old UI that we are seeing for a pretty long time right now, is going to be transformed into Blue Oceans very soon, I guess. But the Blue Ocean is really very improved UI UX, but not the full feature is developed yet, but there are few UIs right now which has the UI UX of the Jenkins change. But but yes, this is really cool. So the UI will look something like this. As you can see here, it has a very, very neat uh, interface where you can see the status of the build being executed, the build number, the commit details, and the durations. And there is a progress bar as well, and you can do a rerun if you want and there is a branch and you can see there is a pipeline option on the right hand side where it shows like there's a bird and there's a test happening for different frameworks and there is a browser test happening in different browsers and where all the different steps are going in all these are displayed on the on the, on the screen itself and the interface is really cool at least for the pipeline sake you can see how intuitive it is so let's quickly see this in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Jenkins right now. So in order to make your Jenkins to have Blue Ocean plugin, you need to go to the Manage Jenkins once again, and you need to go to the Manage plugin. And here you can just go to the Available, and then you can search for what is called as a Blue Ocean. Here you can see there is something called as Blue Ocean Beta. So I'm going to choose the beta version and then I'm going to install without restart. I guess I need to restart after installing this. So let's quickly see what's really going to happen. And you can see that the plugin is going to be installed and there are so many changes has to be made for this particular plugin. So this is not just a very, very small change in the Jenkins itself. You can see that a lot of things are changing while you install the beta version of the uh, Blue Ocean because it has to manage with different kinds of options in the Jenkins right now. So once the complete installation and upgradation is going to happen for my Jenkins, I'll be back. All right, seems like the installation is done, but there are so many failures. So I don't know if it's really going to work or not, but let me try to uh, log out and log in again and see if it if you really get the Blue Ocean or not. Uh, nope, I don't think I will get it if I just do a log off and log in. So I'm just going to stop the Jenkins completely and then I'm going to start the Jenkins all over again. And I guess after that we can see the blue ocean. You can see that the blue ocean uh, dashboard or JPI is disabled and something is really happening while we start uh, as a first instance of Jenkins. If we just run the Jenkins by logging in and logging off, no, it's not going to really work. So I'm going to go to the localhost 8080 once again. So it's getting ready. So now if I try to log in, you can see that we have a Blue Ocean UI. And let me open this Blue Ocean UI. You can see that right now we have a very, very cool intuitive UI. As you can see here, there is a dashboard and it says the basic EA freestyle, .NET pipeline project, Serenium Cucumber project. And also shows the health very neat this time. And it also there is an option to favorite if you want to. You can see you can set a favorite option here. And this is the basic EA freestyle. So if we go to the .NET pipeline project and if I open this, you can see that it also shows us a very neat staging options here like the checkout, restore NuGet, batch and test and you can see that within the restore NuGet if I just expand this it also shows us a, the information in a very cool UI and this is really really cool because it is much refined than uh, the previous UI that we are seeing so long and we have been bored with that UI for a pretty long time right now right and you can see there is a changes if there is any and there is a test or there is an artifact if there is any so all this information will be available over here and if you go to the settings once again 
you can see that you will again end up with the same UI. So this one is not yet in the blue ocean. So it is still the same UI. And you, you can see there is a open blue, blue ocean here once again. So again, not every page of the Jenkins has been updated as I already said. There are a few changes here and there. So even if you go to the administrator, you will end up to the old Jenkins UI only, right? So there is not much changed yet. But this is the only change. This is the UI uh, look and feel that you have. You can see here it's changed. And if you hit run here, once again, you can see there is a status information of what's really happening. And you can see the duration of how long it is taking. And if you go inside here, you can also see what's really happening. So there is a checkout being happening. And you can see everything is sync this time. Everything, all the information is very clearly displayed of what's happening behind the scene and you can see the build is happening and then the test is really running right now so everything is pretty fast right now and very clean as well so i really like the ui for the matter of fact that this is very helpful to see what stage we are currently in the build execution so while we work with the multiple browser in our upcoming videos of this course you will understand this particular ui is much more useful than it is right now right so that's it guys this is what is the blue ocean ui not much thing here but this is really important to know that something cool is going to happen for jenkin in near future right so once again guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day